Hi everyone, it's Gail with Traders Help Desk, and today I just wanted to do a review of TradingView. I've had a lot of questions about it, and I think it's a great platform. Um, number one, my top like about TradingView, or I should say love, is the fact that I can bring it up no matter where I'm at, whether I'm on my own computer or someone else's, whether I'm on my phone or my iPad. Now, that's really great because I don't have to do backups anymore. I don't have to back up my charts. I don't have to back up my indicators. I don't have to back up workspaces and all this other stuff. It's just right here in my face. So that means when I go to the beach, I don't have to lug my laptop anymore. I can just take my iPad and I'm good to go because now I can trade. Um, that is phenomenal to me. Now, um, to use TradingView, you do have to sign up, and I have a link below for the sign up. Um, and they do provide a 30 day free trial. Now, to do a chart, all you have to do is click right here where there's a cloud. If you click on that and do new chart layout, then you get a chart that looks very similar to this. Now, to change the time frames, I can go right here beside of the symbol and say, okay, I actually want a 15 minute chart. Now, as you can see, this is just one chart. I can go to this little icon. It says select layout and I could choose, depending on my subscription level, I could charge, uh, change it to a abundance of different uh, layouts. For example, I could do them um, horizontally, vertically. I could do one big one on the left, two small ones on the right, a big one on bottom, two small on the top. It's just whatever I want. I could do four, five, six, or eight. In this case, I'm actually going to choose this one. It's three vertical charts. And as you can see, it actually put all of them uh, vertically. I've got all of them this is a 15, this is a 360, this is a 360. So what I'm going to do is change this one to a 360. Uh, I'm going to change this one to a one hour. And I'm going to change this one to a 15 minute. And as you can see, I now have three that are vertical. They're all different time frames. Now I do want to save this layout. So I'm going to click on this little down arrow that was up here and I'm going to say rename and I'm actually going to give this uh, a name. In this case, I'm going to name it review and click save. Now I can add my indicators uh, to the chart and I can draw on the chart just like most other standard platforms. If I want to draw, for example, a horizontal line, if I click on the little arrow here, it expands and gives me all of my options. So in this case, I'm going to do a horizontal line. Now notice that it says Alt plus H. That means if I press Alt in H, where my mouse is, it will insert the horizontal line. Or I can just simply left click on this and then do a horizontal line. So now you can see I have a horizontal line. If I double click on it, I can change the color. And it's, let's make it pink. Okay, and click OK. And now you can see I have a pink line. Now the next one that I insert will also be pink. So if I come down here and mouse over 11095 and do Alt H on my keyboard, you can see it inserted uh, the horizontal line. They also have vertical lines and trend lines and all that good stuff. It's just whatever you want to put on your chart. These are the shortcuts. If you click star, which is add to favorites, then that means that's going to come up uh, as your favorite on the chart. You can also add text. Um, you can do just a variety of stuff. You can use a brush, a rectangle. Um, you can make an arc, a curve, just anything you want to do. Now, the other thing that I like to do as well is come over here and create a watch list, okay? 
So if I say create new list and name it my symbols, I can put everything into one list. So in this case, I'm going to do my four X pairs and we'll just do a couple of those. And uh, we want to do the NASDAQ because I trade the NASDAQ. So we're going to go to the E-minis and I'm going to do the current contract. Um, and let's do the ES. So now we have the Aussie, the Euro, the ES. And let's say that I want the USD JPY. And of course, let's add the British pound. Now, you can also sort these by just clicking on the symbol. Puts them in alphabetical order. It just makes it easier for me to find. But the cool thing is you can actually come over here and say, okay, I want to look at the NASDAQ and I can change all of my charts with just a click of the mouse. Now, I tend to do that versus having a different workspace for each individual symbol. Again, all of these reside up on uh, a cloud, okay? That means you can access them from anywhere, regardless of whether you're on your device or someone else's device, okay? Uh, you do want to pay attention to security. Um, if you are doing someone else's device. In other words, if you have your live account attached to this, you want to make sure it doesn't save your login information and clear your cookies. Okay. But in this case, you can see I now have a 360, 60, and a 15 on the NASDAQ. If I click up, go up here and just click on review, it automatically will save this workspace just like I have it right now. Okay. If I want to go back and look at the Aussie, I just simply click on the Aussie and voila, I've got the Aussie up on my screen. Now, you can also, for example, add indicators by simply clicking up here on indicators. And in this case, I'm actually going to add some of my indicators to this and the trend and the stochastics. So now, I have the moving average, the trend ATR, and the stochastics. Now, I could go and do that on both charts. Or, I could come up here, click on templates, save indicator template, and give it a name. For example, I'm going to just give it the review name. And now, when I come over to the 60 minute, I can come up here, click review, come over here, click review, and voila, all of my charts look the same. Now, once you do that, also remember to come up and save it. If you do not save it, then it's going to open up without the indicators, okay? Also, uh, as most of you know, I, I trade a lot of touch brackets now. So, uh, TradingView makes it very easy to actually get alerts. So, in this case, I'm going to click on this line of red dots. I'm going to click alert. And the condition is what you need to set. And in this case, I'm short, okay? But if it's greater than this ATR, I want to be notified because I may have to reevaluate my position. So, in this case, I'm doing an alert that says if the USD JPY is crossing and instead of value i'm going to put trend atr and i'm going to select the short trend once per bar and then you can actually say okay this is open-ended which means anytime this crosses this i want to be notified or i can notify on my app i can show a pop-up i can send it to my email or i could send it to my phone as a sms that's the one that I'm going to choose to do. Um, and in this case, it's just going to send it to my phone and I can create the alert. Okay, so if this comes up and if this crosses 111.40, then it's going to give me an alert. Okay, so again, this is on crossing. 
I might want to say greater than the uh, ATR. And in that case, again, I'm going to select the trend ATR, the short trend, and again, set it to once per bar, create it, and it's actually going to tell me if this crosses or is greater than the ATR, which is currently at 111.40. That means if I'm outside planting my garden, I will have my phone with me, and if that happens then i can go to my ipad or just check it from my phone uh whichever one i want remember all of this is kept on the cloud so that means you can bring it up on your phone you can bring it up on your ipad you can bring it up on someone else's computer you are not tied to the computer where you installed the indicators which is really a cool feature now they also have where you can replay uh market action for example if i wanted to replay the 60 minute chart i can click replay and see how you get a red line uh, i can click it there and as you can see it goes back to that point and then i can say okay play and that enables you to watch as the market is developing you can change the speed where it's really fast or you can change it where it's really slow. It's all up to you. I hope you have found this review helpful. I do think this is one of the best programs I have seen for trading. And again, I've posted the link below if you decide to sign up for the tools. And right now, people that already have the indicators can sign up for $5.95 for lifetime rights. Otherwise, if you are not a current THD client, then there is a monthly subscription fee of $70, uh, $75 per month. And again, the links are in the video below. I uh, would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll know when I post any new videos. Thank you, and have a nice day.